First step is you're gonna meet with your mortgage banker. Um, mortgage banker, when you come in to meet with them for the interview, they're gonna to wanna to see your pay stubs, they're gonna to wanna to see your W-2s. If you're self-employed, we're gonna see your tax returns. We want you to bring in your asset documentation uh, for at least two months, and then we're gonna pull your credit report. So once we determine, yeah, everything looks good, it's a green light, we're gonna move forward, we're gonna take a formal application, and then that loan goes into our system, and then at that point, the loan's gonna move over to our processing side. And so the processor and the mortgage banker are gonna work hand in hand together. So once the processor has the transaction, they're looking at it, they're kind of putting the deal together, and then it's, they're going to submit it to the underwriter. Now, underwriting might have a couple questions, right? So they may come back with some additional conditions. They might see something on your credit report, and maybe they want a letter of explanation. So meanwhile, behind the scenes, the appraisal is going to be ordered. That's kind of happening amongst like your real estate agent. So the appraiser is going to make the appointment to go out there. Appraisal is going to come back. Underwriter is going to look at that. We want to make sure that the property is worth what you're paying for it. And so once we get the green light, we have a final loan approval. The loan's gonna go through our quality assurance department, make sure every I's dotted, every T's crossed, and then we're gonna transition the loan to our closing department. They're gonna set up an appointment, and then you'll sign the loan documents, and then at some point, your realtor's gonna show up and say, here's the keys to your new house.